Hello, and welcome to today's session. My name is Kevin Grote, Staff Systems Engineer here at VMware. Glad to see you again. This quarter, we have another fantastic set of technical and pre-sales technical related enablement around a lot of topics. Now, in this quarter, you're gonna be hearing a lot inside of these sessions around end user compute, NSX, virtual SAN, these are exceptionally important parts when we're talking about not just the software-defined data center, but the software-defined enterprise as a whole. Today, we're going to be taking a look at EUC Test Drive. So, what is EUC Test Drive? Well, I'm glad you asked. EUC Test Drive is a system available from VMware allowing customers to be able to, well, test drive our end-user compute technologies. Things like Identity Manager, User Environment Manager, Horizon, App Volumes, and more. And to be able to see what these are going to do inside of your enterprise. And without having to stand up your own proof of concepts and go through all that, to be able to experience these technologies and see how they can be modified and how they can be implemented into your initiatives for your greater software-defined enterprise. Today, we're going to be joined by our very own Tim Sandy, systems engineer and really great friend of mine. Tim has put together a fantastic walkthrough of the end user compute test drive and will be guiding us through all of the goodness and how to go in and get things set up. So without any further ado, let's join Tim and take a look at the EUC test drive from VMware. Welcome everybody. My name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware systems engineer. In this session, I'm going to uh, talk to you about VMware's test drive environment. It is a end user computing or EUC based demo environment that both VMware employees use as well as intended for our VMware partners to be able to demo our EUC based solutions to customers. So this environment, again, is a demo environment, and it is something that can be used to demo those EUC-based solutions. So I highly recommend that you as a partner uh, get registered for an account and use this and get familiar with it in order so that you have an environment that you can demo some of these products to your customers. So the first step is going to be going out to the, the portal and uh, click on the link to to register for a new account. Now once you click on that link you're going to come to the page that you see here and uh, you're going to fill in basic information, your name, you're going to create an uh, optional username, your email title, company, select the region that you're in. If uh, you're in the United States obviously you're going to select the Americas but if you're in other parts of the world you're going to pick another region that would be closer to you. And then you can either do an automatic generated password or you can create one right off the bat. Now once you do this and you click register you're going to get an email which has your login information that you've either selected um, or you've had them randomly do a password for you. It's going to have the links to everything as well as some additional information on uh, how to use the demo environment. So that's going to be your first step is going out and getting registered. Now as a VMware partner it should recognize your email account and you should be able to get registered with no issues whatsoever. So that's the first step. Then after that, once you get registered and you log in, you're going to come to the main dashboard page. And as you see here on the left hand side of the portal is kind of like your navigation menu. Now this is something that you can minimize if you want for when you're doing the actual demo. And you can open it back up very simply. You'll see here that we can launch some of the VMware solutions right from here. And then down here we have kind of the general area. Now again we're looking at the main dashboard right now so if I click on this dashboard navigation menu it stays right where we're at. Then we have some other ones that we're going to get to in a second. Now on this main dashboard here this is what you open up to. Now after you've created your account and you get first logged in the first thing that I recommend that you do is go to this walkthrough and troubleshooting area. As you see here, there's links to the VMware Test Drive KB, uh, basically how to guide on how to um, use or uh, potentially enable some of the different VMware solutions in here, as well as a Horizon YouTube playlist, which 
also kind of gives you run-throughs on how to demo the particular solutions. So I've already opened them. Here is uh, the KB page that I just mentioned. It gives you quick start guides on how to enable and launch and use some of our different solutions from within this test drive environment. So as you see, Horizon Flex, User Environment Manager, Workspace ONE, and so on. So this is a great place to start. I highly recommend that this is the very first thing that you do once you get logged in. And then also, we have again the YouTube playlist which will go through and also give you some training and enablement on some of our solutions that we have in the test drive environment. So that's where I would start off once you get logged in. Now the next step down here after we've got to the dashboard is we have statistics. Now I'm a super user so I'm able to send out up to 50 invitations to partners. Now you as a partner are going to be limited to five invitations at a time. Once one person is done or the time has run out then you regain that one again. So but no more than five at a time. And then as your your customers are using it there's some dashboard displays here which give you some usage on the different solutions to kind of get an idea to see what your particular users uh, customers are seem to be focused on which solution so this just gives you a quick overview so the next thing under general is the my services tab this would be the next thing that I suggest that you do because for certain solutions to demo them, you do have to enable them. So the VMware Horizon View client, uh, for example, we have AirWatch, Google Apps, Horizon Air, Salesforce, and BlueJeans. So what I would recommend that you do is you go in here, you enable all of them. Now keep in mind, when you enable each one of these, there's going to be an information window that pops up for them. And for example, AirWatch. Uh, you want to pay attention to this information in here. Now you can click on the the icon there with the eye in the circle that I just did to bring back up the pertinent information. But the reason why is typically anything that when you log into any of our solutions to demo them, you're typically going to log in with the same login that you logged into this portal with, your same username and password. Now with, for example, the AirWatch admin portal, you have to log in with VMW demo slash username and then your password. Whereas the most of the other interfaces, uh, you're only going to be logging in with just the username and not the domain name. So again, just be very aware of that because there is some slightly different login uh, procedures depending on which solution you're demoing. So keep that in mind. Next, uh, again, as a partner, you can go ahead and send out invitations to your customers. Uh, fill out some basic information here, name, title, email address, what region they're in, company name, their industry. Uh, and then you can also enable certain services. You can do all of them or just one of them, whatever you want to do. Click invite, new user, and then once you click that, it'll send an email them with their login information, just like it did for yourself. Um, you're not going to have this nominations option as a partner because I'm a super user so I can nominate partners so you won't have that you're just going to have the send invitation to send out to your customers and then just some basic account uh, editing information that you can do so you can edit your profile you can change your picture for example here not much you can change your password you can put in a support request so this is where you're going to put in the support request, put a basic uh, description of the problem. I highly recommend uh, the more information the better for the description of the problem that you're having. But the one thing I want to point out here is that the support, being that this is a demo environment and not a production environment, the support is only Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. Okay, and uh, current average response times are usually within four hours and 48 hours for resolution. Now that's just an average, okay? But again, just be aware that this doesn't have 24-7 coverage, so keep that in mind um, and make sure you're preparing ahead of time when you plan on doing demos and verifying that solutions are working, your login works and everything else the day before you plan on doing that. So that way if you have problems, you can submit a ticket, hopefully get that resolved before you have your demo. If there's a bug that you find, you can report a bug, same way as you do a, a service request, and then you have your logout. So that's the basic uh, layout of the portal and the navigation side. So starting off, um, I wanted to show you, uh, we can launch Workspace ONE, 
and by launching Workspace ONE this uh, will initially give you some applications, some of these virtualized apps in your Workspace ONE portal. Now I have already gone ahead and gone into the catalog and, and added additional, uh, for example, view desktops here. You won't have those initially. So what you're going to have to do is go to the, your catalog and then you can selectively pick which applications or virtual desktops you'd like to have add. But be aware, you're going to see duplications here. Depending on, for example, if you're in the Americas, you're only going to want to add the desktops from the Americas, preferably. Now, you can add them from other geographical regions, but I wouldn't do that because then you're reaching across and trying to demo something that's on the other side of the world. So obviously, you want to select and add the view desktops that are associated to your geographical region. Okay, and as you see here, there's different categories you can select it out. Here's just the Americas, so I recommend that you go with this approach here. Then that way, you're only selecting things that are in your geographical region. You can also see that here are applications that are specific to the ThinApp applications. So that's the Workspace Portal. Next, you have the Horizon Native Client. Um, the native client here, again, you would select which geographical region, and then you can also download the client in case you need to download it and you don't have it currently on your system. Now, I'm not going to use the client um, for this demo. I'm going to go ahead and use the Horizon HTML Access. Again, same thing. HTML Access is using an HTML5 based browser, so Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google, as long as it's HTML5, you're good to go. So, as you see here, this is a Horizon View desktop. Windows 7. It's a basic desktop, uh, no graphics acceleration or anything fancy to it or anything like that. Now as you see on the desktop we have a lot of icons already. An example of an end user computing solution that you can demo as well is the VMware User Environment Manager console. Here you can go into the admin console for User Environment Manager and this is used to be able in conjunction with Horizon View desktops to manage profiles, to manage uh, you know, desktop folder redirections, the uh, saving of favorites to redirect them as well. Also settings for applications, uh, whether it be Office products or other settings as you see here. So again, um, this is uh, one of our solutions that works in conjunction with Horizon View desktops and again manages data and profile redirection and where to store all that information. So that's an example of one EUC based solution that you can demonstrate. Then you'll also see that we have basic items such as Office products. So as you see here, we have Microsoft Word, but then we also have PowerPoint on the desktop as well. So you have some basic solutions such as that. But then we also have a little more intensive solutions such as Google Earth. Now like I said this is a standard Windows 7 Horizon View desktop here. Uh, Google Earth is pretty demanding um, so this will give you a good idea and I can double click down into the Tampa area within Google Earth and as you can see we're getting performance just like we would with a standard uh, hardware desktop. So just to kind of again give you an idea of the capabilities of the graphics even with a standard view desktop that doesn't have any graphics acceleration or anything like that. So that's Google Earth that you can also demo. Now we have several of our management products that do integrate in with EUC based products. So as you see here I open up um, the Horizon View Administrator Portal. Now, this is where you configure and manage all your Horizon View desktops. So this is the, again, Horizon View Administrator. So you can show your customers how to manage Horizon View desktops from within here, create desktop pools and such. Then we have the vRealize Operations Manager solution as well. Now, this also has the VROPS for Horizon, which is, as you see here, here is the icon for this particular solution to go in and be able to demo. So it has the integration and it has the tabs within vRealize Operations so that you can monitor your Horizon View desktops as well as any virtualized apps, their sessions. So again, you can not only demo vRealize Operations as itself, but then also the Horizon plugins for it in association.
And then we also have vRealize Log Insight, which is a log analysis uh, tool. As you see here, um, this is also, you're able to demo Log Insight, whether it's related to end user computing based products or not, or in conjunction with if you're trying to uh, look through log files associated to your view of components such as your connection server. So those are just some of the additional solutions that you can demo right from the test drive environment here. And the, again, the icons are already on your desktop. Now, App Volumes is another one of our EUC based products that I highly recommend that you demo. So I've already created the shortcuts for app volumes to deploy a bunch of applications to this desktop. Now just to let you know, as you see here, um, here is the, the script and the icon to in order to kick that off. You may not have this icon, so if you don't, which you most likely won't, just go to all programs and you see there's going to be some shortcuts here. And then you can make a copy to your desktop. So real quick, I want to show you, uh, using app volumes, I can instantly, or almost instantly, within less than a minute, um, deploy and attach literally, say, 50 applications at one time to your desktop. So with this script, as you see that just happened on the desktop, by running that script, app volumes went out, attached app volume to this virtual desktop, and now I've added, say, another 40 applications to my desktop. So this is a great way to show the benefits of app volumes. Now on the same token, I can detach those same apps that I just deployed to this desktop in the same amount of time and in the same fashion. So being able to demo that app volumes capability I think is, is a great asset. And I highly recommend that you do that. So as you'll see, we also have uh, shortcuts to some design programs such as 123Design within this folder here. There are some different uh, designs that were already pre-created. You can show those particular ones and show how easily it is to manipulate a design-based program. We also have links out to the hands-on labs. We also have the VMware site. And of course, you can launch VM, uh, Workspace ONE from here. We also have this uh, turbine demo as well, which is also a very good demo to show. And again, this is a basic Windows 7 desktop without NVIDIA graphics acceleration or anything like that. But this shows you the graphics capabilities and the design capabilities of some of your higher end type of applications that usually require a higher end graphics acceleration. So I do recommend that you also show and demo some of these as well. And as you see here, this is getting ready to launch. And you can see the, the demo of this is fairly fluid. And again, this is just a basic Windows 7 desktop. And you can also go in and you can also move it around yourself, as you can see here. You can do several different things. But anyway, this kind of shows the graphics capabilities in just a standard Windows 7 desktop. Now, going back to the, uh, the main portal, the dashboard, going next on the selection is Horizon View HTML Access, again, which we were in. Um, but I also wanted to show uh, with our desktops, we also have the option to show a NVIDIA backed virtual desktop. So here we have a Horizon View desktop with Windows 7, but this is backed and connected to a host that has NVIDIA grid, uh, either K1 or K2 card in it for graphics acceleration for this virtual desktop. So for those customers that need to do real high-end graphics and design work, this is perfect for their needs. So just to show you real quick here, uh, there are different demos that you can do. This first one here is a water demo. You can move this around. Look how fluid the motion is. Water is something that's hard to kind of represent in a graph if your graphics is not up to par. So as you see, I can move this ball around and see how the waves are associated and see how fluid that is. So you can see how, how uh, what a difference you have between the Windows 7 desktop 
without the graphics acceleration and what you have with this desktop with again the NVIDIA backed acceleration. There's also this Katy Perry video on YouTube so if I start that without the audio um, you're going to be able to see the video plays just like it normally would. So there's another example. So as we see with the stadium program you know this is a 3D design graphics program. As you can see I can go in here, I can select things, I can make changes to them. Um, now I'm not an AutoCAD specialist but as you can see I can use these very uh, CPU and graphics intensive type programs uh, on this very fluidly. So this is also for a customer that does a lot of design work. I would highly recommend showing one of these type of demos using either ArcGIS or AutoCAD for an example. Now this demo here that I also brought up is an NVIDIA demo that they have given us. I want you to take a look at this. Look at the quality. This is a CGI based uh, graphics of a human. Look at the quality of the skin tone, the reflection. Uh, look at the facial movement. Everything is almost natural like an actual human being just by moving my cursor around here. So this shows the power of a virtual desktop with uh, using a graphics card in a ESX host like the NVIDIA uh, Grid K1, K2 cards. So that's some examples of some of the demos you'd want to show with a customer that's really interested in doing design and graphics, high intensive type works, has those applications that require a lot of processing power and graphics capabilities. Now going back to the uh, dashboard here, we also have uh, Horizon Flex, which you can demo. We also have the AirWatch uh, admin console. So uh, one of the demos that you can do is within this environment, you can say add the customer's uh, client device, their mobile device, say their phone or their iPad, if you're there on site with them, to this demo environment and to an account that they've created. And then you can manage it from here and you can go through the AirWatch Admin Console and show them how to manage it. So again, AirWatch Admin Console is just another solution that you can demo within this environment. Then we have Horizon Air. Now this is the Horizon Air Admin Portal. So your virtual admins that are managing your virtual desktops would come into this portal here to manage the uh, the Horizon Air virtual desktops. And again, Horizon Air is our uh, desktop as a service. Uh, those are Horizon View desktops are running on our vCloud Air cloud-based offering. So here is where you can go through and demo from an administrative perspective with Horizon Air desktops. And then for the actual end user, they would log into this portal and they would see which desktops they're entitled to as well as applications. Now there's not much that they can do other than download the client, launch the actual desktop or application, and then they can select which protocol they want to use to connect to that. So from the user perspective, there's not much to show in here, but you do get to show that portal. So again, that completes pretty much the test drive environment and the overview of how to log in, how to launch and demo products, some of the products that you can uh, demo as well. This test drive environment is a great resource that I highly recommend for partners to use to demo anything EUC based. You can also demo products such as vRealize Operations, Log Insight, so it's it's not just EUC, it is predominantly for EUC based products. It is a great resource for you to use in demo products and also be able to invite customers to go in, create an account, and to be able to demo the products some of the you know themselves. So with that, that completes the overview of the test drive demo environment. Hopefully this was useful information to you and I highly encourage you to go out get registered for an account, log in, check out the how-to guides, enable those services, and then start playing with the different solutions and get familiar with how to demo them. I promise you it will be well worth your time. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks for taking time to join me today. As always, I hope you found value in these sessions. We've got a lot of great content this quarter. Be sure to subscribe for more updates and videos and follow me on Twitter for news and updates as they happen. We also have a lot going on inside of services here at VMware. 
be sure to look into some of our great new services that are available. Things like the NSX design and deploy service, now available from VMware. And if you're a VMware partner, you need to look into our partner preferred services program where you too can deliver VMware services and learn from our services consultants professionals inside of our professional services division so that you can deliver and bring true value and the ultimate in VMware expertise directly to your customers as well. For all this information and more, be sure to follow me on Twitter and feel free to reach out and we'll also be able to get you the information you need. Thanks again. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again really soon.